What's up nail friends? In today's video I'm going to be doing a hard gel mermaid set with a little twist. So if you like that, just keep watching. In this set I'm using Light Elegance Cool Gel with my Egoista brand oval gel brush and I've already removed her past set and prepped her nails and now I'm just coming in and doing a thin base layer. I do this on all her nails and give that a cure and now I'm coming in with this color from Light Elegance called Sweet Nothings, this really pretty glitter and I'm just applying this and I did switch my brush to the same brush but it's my gel brush that I use for glitter and stuff. So make sure that if you're doing gel nails that you have one brush for clear and one brush for glitter. So then I'm coming in with these really pretty mermaid flakes. They're from Glitter Heaven Australia and they're called Mermaid Love. So I did not cure that wet gel from Sweet Nothings. I just went right in with the Mermaid Love onto that wet gel. I'm just trying to place them flat enough. They don't, it doesn't really matter. This is gonna be covered by a stamp anyway. I just wanted a little bit of glitter in there. So you're going to want to cure that and then when you're happy with that you're going to come in and encapsulate all these nails so here i'm coming in with that cool gel again and i'm just applying a thin layer and this is my slip layer so this layer is meant to help your bigger bead go where it needs to go so here i'm coming in with my bigger bead placing it near the cuticle area and then i'm going from the right to the left and sort of dragging it down the nail while keeping the bulk in the center of the nail to create my apex but still cover up all this glitter I've said it before in past videos, I really like Cool Gel, I find it really easy to use and it's also very nice for self leveling and it's a great viscosity so if you are trying hard gel this is a great one to try. So here's how they look before I finish filed and now I'm just coming in and cleansing all the nails and then I'm coming in with a 180 grit hand file and hand filing all these nails. The Cool Gel is super soft so it's really easy to file so you don't really need to use an e-file at all, you can really just hand file. but. Whatever you want to do, whatever works best for you. After I filed and shaped all these nails, now I'm coming in with this clear jelly stamper plate and stamping polish number 34, this kind of a shimmery white, and I'm just applying one line and then one scrape and then a flick of your wrist to pick up the image and then you can just see right through these big bling stampers and you can place it exactly where you want it. So for crystals, I'm using Ugly Duckling Stick It to glue the crystals down. I always use this now. I find it very, very good and clients don't really lose any crystals at all now. Uh, the crystals I'm coming in with are from Crystal Princess. I always use their crystals. So you're going to have to cure the Ugly Duckling Stick It. So now I'm coming in with Egoista number 12. This is their 4D gel and I'm using the purple color and I'm gonna create a little starfish. So I found that it actually was a little bit harder to get it to stick to this nail uh, while it's dry, but it's a little bit easier if you have a top coat already on. So you're just gonna use your fingers to ball up each piece and kind of roll it into a line and then place it on the nail. And then you can use a little art brush and some alcohol or you can use the Egoista brand slip for their poly gel. And you're just gonna use that to kind of maneuver your 40 gel into place. So here I'm just making a starfish. So I actually did look up a picture of a starfish, a real life starfish to kind of get the shaping right. And then I'm just using a dotting tool to create some texture. 
When you're happy with the way the starfish looks, you're gonna give that a full cure. And then I'm just coming in here and adding some more crystals. The top coat I'm using is the Cure Sky No Wipe Top Coat, and I'm just applying this on the nails and not on top of the crystals and not on top of the starfish because I wanted the starfish to kind of have a matte finish to it. Then you're gonna wanna give that a full cure and then I removed all the leftover stamping polish that was on her skin and here's the finished design. With Halloween right around the corner, I thought I would do a pretty mer- Oh no! She's been infected. This beautiful mermaid has turned into a zombie. So I'm gonna show you guys how to change your pretty mermaid design into a nasty zombie mermaid. So I'm just using that same 4D gel to create a dead starfish half. So it's the other half of the starfish, but I curled up the ends here to make it like a dead starfish. And I'm applying it the exact same way, but I did find it a lot easier to apply the 4D gels on top of already cured gel. Right before curing, I added a little bit of Magic Gel's Universal Black on the starfish to kind of make it look like grungy and dead. And then I am giving that a cure. And now I'm coming in and just adding more of that Universal Black around the starfish to give it some texture and, you know, make it look like gross. So I'm gonna be adding goo. So I'm using Jelly Fit Australia's FW172 and FW182. And mixing that with Egoista brand metallic gel number seven, which is kind of a syrup gel. And I'm just using a dotting tool to create kind of like pussy drips. So I added some bloody drips as well using this glass syrup gel from Uno it's called, but I actually have no idea where you can get this. So I will put in the description box some alternatives. For more texture, I'm using Egoista brand number two, and this is another 4D gel, but this one's white. And I'm applying it near the cuticle area, and this is gonna be kind of like rotting flesh, kind of like her cuticle has come down and created like a rotting flesh over top of the mermaid scales. So I'm just using, again, the same brush and some alcohol, and just kind of pulling it into the place I want. And it doesn't really matter, this one is obviously no skill to this, you just place it on, pat it down and really pull it into the place you want. And then you're gonna wanna cure that. So I'm just coming in with kind of a natural nude color to match her skin tone a little bit. And then I'm mixing in some black and the green goo, trying to make it look like disgusting, rotting zombie flesh. The black helps add some texture in there to really make it like stand out. And then I'm coming in and adding some blood and pus as well. The thumb ends up being probably my favorite part of this whole thing. So I'm just coming in with a way bigger piece and I kind of make a snake with it and I go around the sides of the thumb. So this is gonna look like the flesh is open and inside the flesh has a mermaid scale. It's kind of cool. I found this idea on a bunch of makeup Pinterest ideas so I thought I'd try to incorporate it in nails. And to make it look more like flesh, I'm just going back and forth with my brush here trying to pull it up and then kind of make it look like wavy skin. So I'm just applying that new gel polish and some of the green too. And then I am adding the black in the inside to again add that texture and dimension. So you can clean anything up that you don't want with alcohol before curing. And then I'm coming in and adding some blood. So I'm gonna give that a full cure. And here's how the zombie portion of the mermaid design turned out. Hope you guys like this double design. I thought I would make it more fun for you, giving you the option of both. So let me know down below which nail is your favorite, which design you liked better, and what are you being for Halloween? Don't forget to check all my other Halloween videos for this year, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.